Welcome back to the Business Psychology Hub. In this video, we'll continue to look at decision-making theorists and if they were a rap star, who would they be? From the circle of world-class decision-making theorists, there's one researcher who stands out as being the most gangster. That's Dan Ariely, who's completed two PhDs just to make sure that everyone knows he's for real. He has completed a PhD in cognitive psychology and another PhD in business administration. That makes him Dr. Dr. Dan Ariely. Ariely is fascinated by how humans are predictably irrational. That is how we perform irrational behaviours in a predictable manner. Ariely has investigated truly gangster research topics such as how people become more risk-seeking when they're sexually aroused and how people experience pleasure and pain. Ariely's work on coherent arbitrariness should be known by everyone that's involved in businesses. This concept provides key insights into how people conclude what they're willing to pay for a good or service. Ariari has conducted this research with behavioural economist kingpins George Lowenstein and Drazen Prelik. Ariari and his research gang conclude that when people consider how much they're willing to pay for a good or service, that they develop a reference point from which they'll sensibly react to increases or decreases in price. Ariari describes this part of the cognitive process of deciding how much to pay for something as being coherent. When the price of a good increases from the cognitive reference point, a person will be less likely to pay for it, while if the price decreases, the chances of a purchase in turn increase. Such human purchasing behaviour is consistent with mainstream definitions of rationality. Ariali, however, has found that the choice of reference point can be influenced by arbitrary factors. Ariali and his research gang in experimental studies have asked people to write down the last three digits of their social security number and then have asked them how much they're willing to pay for a good, such as a mug or a bottle of wine. They found that people with higher social security numbers were willing to pay more. Yet when they asked people how they came up with their willingness to pay estimate, they seemed to have no idea that they were influenced by their social security number. It was concluded that the social security number written down by people was used as an anchor in the subsequent willingness to pay task. Even though clearly one's social security number should bear no impact on how much they're willing to pay for something. Furthermore, once someone had developed an anchor for a good or a service, it was found to be not so easily changed. Ariali found in follow-up studies days later that people's willingness to pay for a good was still being influenced by their social security number anchor. To be clear, only goods that we have not already formed a price anchor for can be subject to arbitrary coherentness, but in today's society we're constantly being introduced to new purchase options. I'm associating Dan Ali with the gangster rap superstar 50 Cent. Like Dan Ali, 50 Cent's lyrics have a predictable irrationality theme discussing topics such as sexual attraction and pleasure and pain. The personal motivation of Ariali and 50 Cent were both shaped by traumatic events in their younger days. Ariali was severely burnt in an accident while 50 Cent was shot nine times. Both Ariali and 50 Cent openly discuss how these events shaped their career and made them stronger human beings. Ariali and 50 Cent have also both authored popular selling books. The name 50 Cent can also be a price estimate, which of course is a key topic for Dan Ariali. And in the context of business, there's clearly strategic benefits from being able to manipulate other people's initial cognitive price anchors. In some circumstances, suggesting a surprisingly higher price may convince a customer to be happy with a slightly lowered price, which is still high. Indeed, this is a common bargaining tactic for sellers. As another example, when a new product is released on the market, it's often associated with a manufacturer's recommended retail price that's designed to be an initial price anchor that will set a stable and higher price. In the next video, we'll look at how business practices have evolved over the last 2.8 million years. If you're interested in the business psychology course, please subscribe to this channel.